Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O our God, glory to thee, O heavenly King, O Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who is everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us, cleanse us from every stain, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O oh, come, let us worship and fall down before God our King. O oh, come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. O oh, come, let us worship and fall down before the very Christ, our King and our God. May the Lord hear thee in the day of tribulation. May the name of the God of Jacob protect thee. May he send thee help from the sanctuary and defend thee out of Zion. May he be mindful of all thy sacrifices, and may thy whole burnt offering be made fat. May he give thee according to thine own heart and confirm all thy counsels. We will rejoice in thy salvation, and in the name of our God we shall be exalted. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. Now have I known that the Lord hath saved his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven. The salvation of his right hand is in powers. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will call upon the name of the Lord our God. They are bound and have fallen, but we are risen and are set up aright. O Lord, save the king and hear us in the day that we shall call upon thee. In thy strength, O Lord, the king shall joy, and in thy salvation he shall rejoice exceedingly. Thou hast given him his heart's desire and hast not withholden from him the will of his lips. For thou hast prevented him with blessings of sweetness, thou hast set on his head a crown of precious stones. He asked life of thee, and thou hast given it him length of days forever and ever. His glory is great in thy salvation, glory and great beauty shalt thou lay upon him. For thou shalt give him to be a blessing forever and ever, thou shalt make him joyful in gladness with thy countenance. For the king hopeth in the Lord, and through through the mercy of the Most High, he shall not be moved. Let thy hand be found by all the enemies. Let thy right hand find out all them that hate thee. Thou shalt make them as an oven of fire in the time of thy anger. The Lord shall trouble them in his wrath, and fire shall devour them. Their fruit shall thou destroy from the earth, and their seed from among the children of men. For they have intended evils against thee. They have devised counsels which they have not been able to establish. For thou shalt make them turn their back, and thy remnants thou shalt prepare their face. Be thou exalted, O Lord, in thine own strength. We will sing and praise thy power. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Most, Most holy, holy Trinity, Trinity, have mercy, have mercy on us. us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. 
O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance, granting to thy people victory over their, all their adversaries, and by the power of thy cross, preserving thine estate. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Do thou who of thine own good will was lifted upon the cross, O Christ our God, bestow thy bounties upon thy new nation, which is called by thy name. Make glad in thy might those who lawfully govern, that with them we may, may be led to victory over our adversaries having in thine aid a weapon of peace and a trophy invincible, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O champion dread, who cannot be put to confusion, despise not our petitions, O good and all praise of Theotokos. Establish the way of the Orthodox, save those who have been called upon to govern us, leading us all to that victory which is from heaven. For thou art she who giveth birth to God, and alone art blessed. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again we pray for our Father and Metropolitan Joseph and all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Bless Father in the name of the Lord. Glory to the holy consubstantial life-giving and undivided Trinity, always, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace and goodwill among men. O Lord, open thou my lips and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, open thou my lips and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. O Lord, why are they multiplied that afflict me? Many rise up against me. Many say unto my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But thou, O Lord, art my helper, my glory, and the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all who without cause are mine enemies. The teeth of sinners hast thou broken. Salvation is of the Lord, and thy blessing is upon my people. I laid me down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, nor chasten me in thy wrath. For thine arrows are fastened in me, and thou hast laid thy hand heavily upon me. There is no healing in my flesh in the face of thy wrath, and there is no peace in my bones in the face of my sins. For mine iniquities are risen higher than my head. As a heavy burden have they pressed heavily upon me. My bruises are become noisome and corrupt in the face of my folly. I have been wretched and utterly bowed down until the end. All the day long I went with downcast face. For my loins are filled with mocking, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and humbled exceedingly. I have roared from the groaning of my heart. O Lord, before thee is all my desire, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart is troubled, my strength hath failed me, and the light of mine eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew nigh over against me, and stood, and my nearest of kin stood afar off. And they that sought after my soul used violence, and they that sought evils for me spake vain things. And craftiness all the day long did they meditate. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not, and was as a speechless man that openeth not his mouth. 
and I became as a man that heareth not, and, hath, and that hath in his mouth no reproofs. For in thee have I hoped, O Lord, thou wilt hearken unto me, O Lord my God. For I said, let, not, let never mine enemies rejoice over me. Yea, when my feet were shaken, those men spake boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourge, as my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, and I will take heed concerning my sin. But mine enemies live, and are made more strong, stronger than I, and they that hated me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good slandered me because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, unto thee I rise early at dawn. My soul hath thirsted for thee. How often hath my flesh longed after thee in a land barren and untrodden and unwatered. So in the sanctuary have I appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than lives, my lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life, and in thy name will I lift up my hands. As with marrow and fatness let my soul be filled, and with lips rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remembered thee on my bed, at the dawn I meditated on thee. For thou art become my helper, in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me. But as for these in vain have they sought after my soul, they shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth, they shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword, portions for foxes shall they be. But the king shall be glad in God, and every one shall be praised that sweareth by him, for the mouth of them is stopped that speak unjust things. At the dawn I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper. In the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, by day I have cried and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear to my supplication. For filled with evils is my soul, my life unto Hades hath drawn nigh. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I have become as a man without help, free among the dead. Like the bodies of the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness, in the shadow of death. Against me is thine anger made strong, and all thy billows hast thou brought upon me. Thou hast removed my friends afar from me, they have made me abomination unto themselves. I have been delivered up, and have not come forth, mine eyes are grown weak from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long, I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Nay, for the dead will thou work wonders, or shall physicians raise them up, that they may give thanks unto thee. Nay, shall any in the grave tell of thy mercy, and of thy truth in that destruction. Nay, shall thy wonders be known in that darkness, and thy righteousness in that land that is forgotten. But as for me unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, Lord, dost thou cast off my soul, and turneth thy face away from me? A poor man am I, in troubles from my youth, yea, having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, thy terrors have sorely troubled me. They came around me about like water all the day long, they compassed me about together. Thou hast removed afar from me, friend and neighbor, and in my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord, God of my salvation, by day I have cried in my night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear unto my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and, all, and forget not all that he hath done for thee. Who is gracious unto all thine iniquities, who healeth all thine infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowneth thee with mercy and compassion, who fulfilleth thy desire with good things, thy youth shall be renewed as the eagles. The Lord performeth deeds of mercy and executeth judgment for all them that are wronged. He hath made his ways known unto Moses, unto the sons of Israel, the things that he hath willed. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long suffering and plenteous in mercy. Not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto eternity will he be wroth. Not according to our iniquities hath he dealt with us, neither according to our sins hath he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. Like as a father hath compassion upon his son, so hath the Lord had compassion upon them that fear him. For he knoweth whereof we are made, he hath remembered that we are dust. 
As for man, his days are as the grass, as a flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. For when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know its place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in strength, that perform his word, to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all you his host, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all you his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear unto my supplication and thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath humbled my life down to the earth. He has sat me in darkness as those that have long been dead, and my spirit within me has become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled. I remember days of old, I meditated on all thy works. I pondered on the creation of thy hands. I stretched forth my hand unto thee, my soul thirsteth afterly like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest it be like them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. For thy name's sake, O Lord, shalt thou quicken me. In thy righteousness shalt thou bring my soul out of affliction. And in thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy my enemies. And thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. O Lord, give ear unto my supplication, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. O Lord, give ear unto my supplication, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto you ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. O our God and our hope, glory to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, for the peace of the whole world, for the good estate of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, and for those who with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter therein, for our Father and Metropolitan Joseph, for the venerable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For Metropolitan Paul Archbishop John, and for their quick release from captivity and safe return, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the President of the United States and all civil authorities and for armed forces everywhere, especially for Peter, Ronnie, Madison, Andrew, Joshua, Benjamin, Thaddeus, Adam, Schuyler, and Alex, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by sea, by land, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives and their salvation, for those under persecution, for the faith, for our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Calling to remembrance our holy, immaculate, most, most blessed and glorious Lord Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. For unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
seeks the early in the night watches, for thy commandments are a light on the earth. Righteousness, ye that dwell upon the earth. Amen. Through the intercessions of Saint Barnabas, have mercy on us, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Behold the bridegroom cometh at midnight, and blessed is the servant whom he shall find awake. But he whom he shall find neglectful is verily unworthy. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lord, Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. For thine is the majesty, and thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> Let us admire and love the bridegroom, our brethren, making ready our lamps, that they may shine forth with virtues and the orthodox faith that like the wise virgins of the Lord we may be prepared to enter with him to the wedding for the bridegroom being gone granteth to all an incorruptible crown. The priests and scribes, O Christ, through great envy, brought against thee a council deviating from the law, moving Judas to the betrayal. Wherefore he went out with audacity, and spake unto those the transgressing people. 
to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, that evil adversary Judas was moved by a silver-loving mind. He planned by conspiracy the betrayal of a master and fell from the light except in darkness. And having bargained for the sale, he saw the priceless one. Therefore that wretched man found hanging and horrible death, horrible death, a reward of his deed. Save us therefore, O Christ, from his company, and grant forgiveness of sins to those who eagerly celebrate thy pure passion both now and ever and unto ages of ages amen that evil adversary judas was moved by a silver loving mind he planned by conspiracy the betrayal of a master and fell from the light except in darkness and having bargained for the sale he saw the priceless one Wherefore that wretched man found hanging and horrible death, horrible death, a reward of, it, of his deed. Save us therefore, O Christ, from his company and grant forgiveness of sins to those who eagerly celebrate thy pure passion. And that we may be accounted worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Where is the pen? Let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to thy spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Let us at that time, the Pharisees went and took counsel how to entangle Jesus in his talk. And they sent their disciples to him, along with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are true and teach the way of God truthfully, and care for no man, for you do not regard the position of men. Tell us then, what do you think? Is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But Jesus, aware of their malice, said, Why do you put me to the test, you hypocrites? showed me the money for the tax. And they brought him a coin. And Jesus said to them, Whose likeness and inscription is this? And they said, Caesar's. Then Jesus said to them, Render therefore to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. And when they heard it, they marveled, and they left him and went away. That same day, Sadducees, who say that there is no resurrection, came to Jesus and asked him a question, saying, Teacher, Moses said, if a man dies having no children, his brother must marry the widow and raise up children for his brother. Now there were seven brothers among us. The first married and died, and having no children, left his wife to his brother. So too the second and the third, down to the seventh. After them all, the woman died. In the resurrection, therefore, to which of the seven will she be wife? For they all had her. But Jesus answered them, you are wrong because you know neither the scriptures nor the power of God. For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are like the angels of God in heaven. 
And as for the resurrection of the dead, have you not read what was said to you by God? I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. And when the crowd heard it, they were astonished at his teaching. But when the Pharisees heard that Jesus had silenced the Sadducees, they came together, and one of them, a lawyer, asked Jesus a question to test him. Teacher, what is the great commandment in the law? And Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment, and a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Upon these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Now while the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them a question. What do you think of the Christ? Whose son is he? They said to him, The son of David. He said to them, How is it then that David, in the Spirit, calls him Lord, saying, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand till I make thine enemies thy footstool. If David thus calls him Lord, how is he his son? And no one was able to answer him a word, nor from that day did anyone dare to ask him any more questions. Then Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, The scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat. So practice and observe whatever they tell you, but not what they do. For they preach, but do not practice. They bind heavy burdens, hard to bear, and lay them on men's shoulders. But they themselves will not move them with their fingers. They do all their deeds to be seen by men. For they make their phylacteries broad, and their fringes long. And they love the place of honor at feasts, and the chief seats in the synagogues, and salutations in the marketplaces, and being called Rabbi, Rabbi by men. But you are not to be called Rabbi, for you have but one teacher and you are all brethren. And call no man your father on earth, for you have one father who is in heaven. Neither be called masters, for you have one master, the Christ. He who is greatest among you shall be your servant. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because you shut the kingdom of heaven against men. For you neither enter it yourselves, nor allow those who would enter to go in. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you devour widows' houses, and for a pretense you make long prayers. Therefore you will receive the greater condemnation. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you traverse sea and land to make a single proselyte. And when he becomes a proselyte, you make him twice as much a child of hell as yourselves. Woe to you, blind guides, who say, if anyone swears by the temple, it is nothing. But if anyone swears by the gold of the temple, he is guilty. You blind fools. For which is greater, the gold or the temple that has made the gold sacred? And you say, if anyone swears by the altar, it is nothing. But if anyone swears by the gift that is on the altar, he is guilty. You blind fools. For which is greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred. So he who swears by the altar, swears by it and everything on it. And he who swears by the temple, swears by it and by him who dwells in it. And he who swears by heaven, swears by the throne of God and by him who sits upon it. <laughs> Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you tithe mint and dill and cumin, and have neglected the weightier matters of the law, justice and mercy and faith. These you ought to have done without neglecting the others. You blind guides, straining out a gnat and swallowing a camel. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you cleanse the outside of the cup and the plate, but inside they are full of extortion and rapacity. You blind Pharisee, First cleanse the inside of the cup and the plate, that the outside also may be clean. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you are like whitewashed tombs, which outwardly appear beautiful, but within are full of dead men's bones and all uncleanness. So you also outwardly appear righteous to men, but within are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you build the tombs of the prophets, 
and adorn the monuments of the righteous, saying, If we had lived in the days of our fathers, we would not have taken part with them in shedding the blood of the prophets. Thus you witness against yourselves that you are sons of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up then the measure of your fathers, you serpents, you brood of vipers. How are you to escape being sentenced to hell? Therefore, I send you prophets and wise men and scribes, some of whom you will kill and crucify, and some you will scourge in your synagogues and persecute from town to town, that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed on earth from the blood of innocent Abel to the blood of Zechariah, the son of Barakiah, whom you murdered between the sanctuary and the altar. Truly, I say to you, all this will come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, killing the prophets and stoning those who are sent to you, how often would I have gathered your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, and you would not. Behold, your house is forsaken and desolate, for I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy great mercy, according to the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my, mine iniquity. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge mine iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was shapen in iniquity and in sin did my mother conceive me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, the unclear and hidden things of thy wisdom thou hast made clear to me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones which thou hast broken shall rejoice. Turn away thy face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and steady me with thy guiding spirit. Then I will teach transgress transgressors thy ways, and the impious shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For hadst thou desired sacrifice, I would have given it thee. Thou delightest not in burnt offerings. Sacrifices to God are a contrite spirit, a contrite and humble heart. O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good, O Lord, in thy good will unto Zion. Let the walls of Jerusalem be, may be built up. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offerings. Then they shall offer bullocks upon thine altar. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theosokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, o Lord. For thou art a merciful God and lovest mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O wretched soul, think of thy last hours. Be dismayed at the rebuking of the fig tree. Act and double the talent given to thee with a fatigue-loving purpose. Awake, watching and crying out, lest we remain outside the chamber of Christ. O wretched soul, why art thou indifferent, and why dost thou vainly imagine unavailing ventures? Why dost thou direct thine energies to things passing? For it is the last hour, and we are about to be separated from what is here. 
Wherefore, while still thou hast time, listen and cry, I have sinned, O my Christ, my Savior. Despise me not like the barren fig tree, but since thou art compassionate, have mercy upon me, who cry to thee in fear, lest I remain outside the chamber of Christ. On this day we make remembrance of the parable of the ten virgins which Jesus spake along with the others as he was coming to the Passion. It teaches us not to rest as though safe in virginity, but to guard it whenever possible and not to desist from any virtues and good deeds, especially deeds of mercy, which make the lamp of virginity shine brightly. It teaches us also to be ready for our end, not knowing when our hour is coming. As the wise virgins were ready to meet the bride, lest death overtake us and close the door of the heavenly chamber in our face. And we hear the terrible judgment with the foolish virgins heard. Verily, verily, I know you not. Wherefore, O Christ, O Christ the bridegroom, number us with the wise virgins, and have mercy upon us. Amen. bright hues yield not to the command of the usurper when they were thrown into the furnace but confess god singing bless the lord all ye his works let us cast indifference away from us and with sparkling lamps and songs of praise, let us welcome Christ, the bridegroom who dieth not, crying, Bless the Lord, are ye his works. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let there be sufficient of the oil of mercy in our vessels, Lest we make the time of receiving prizes a time of bargaining. <laughs> and let us sing, bless the Lord, all ye his words. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O ye who have received the talent from God, make it double with the help of Christ who granteth equal grace as ye sing. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, all ye his works. Verily the three upright hues yield not to the command of the usurper. When they were thrown into the furnace, but confess God singing, Bless the Lord, all ye his works. Love thou, Tophos, and Mother of the Light, let us learn to magnify in song. O oh, Holy Virgin, who didst contain in thy womb the uncontainable God, and bore joy unto the world, thee do we praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst say to thy disciples, O good one, Watch, for ye know not the hour in which the Lord shall come to reward every one. Both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In thine awesome second coming, O Master, establish me on thy right hand with the sheep, overlooking the multitude of my sins. O Holy Virgin, who didst contain in thy womb the uncontainable God, and bore joy unto the world, thee do we praise. 
Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. All in remembrance are all holy, immaculate, most blessed, and most glorious, and Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To thee, O Lord. For all the powers of heaven praise thee, and unto thee we ascribe glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Verily I behold the chamber adorned by my Savior, and I possess no garment with which to enter therein. How shall I, the unworthy one, 
enter into the splendor of thy saints. For if by chance I shall dare to enter with him into the chamber, my raiment will reproach me, for they are not garments for a wedding. And I shall be thrown down and bound up by the angels. Make clean, O Lord, therefore the stain of my soul, and grant me salvation, for thou only art the lover of mankind. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet, Praise him with the psaltery and harp. O Christ the bridegroom, who I did sleep neglectfully, and like the foolish virgins did procrastinate at the time of labor, was not in possession of a lamp of virtues. In spite of this, O Master, close not against me, the wings of thy compassion. O oh, drive away from me dark sleep, wake me and bring me into thy chamber with the wise virgins. Where is the song of the undefiled and pure feasters and of those who cry ceaselessly? Glory be to thee, O oh Lord. <laughs> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Having heard of the judgment of him who buried the talent of my soul, I thou not the word of God, but proclaim his wonders that thou Thine is the glory, O Lord our God, and unto thee we ascribe gl glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God of the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For Thou only art holy, Thou only art the Lord, O Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless Thee, and I will praise Thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Lord, Thou hast been a refuge in all generations. I said, Be merciful unto me, heal my soul, for I have sinned against Thee. Lord, I have fled unto Thee. Teach me to do Thy will, for Thou art my God. For with Thee is a fountain of life. In Thy light shall we see light. O continue Thy loving kindness unto them that know Thee. Thou safe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art Thou, O Lord God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is Thy name forever. Amen. Let Thy mercy be upon Upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on Thee. Blessed art Thou, O Lord, teach me Thy statutes. Blessed art Thou, O Master, make me to understand Thy, uh, thy commandments. Blessed art Thou, O Holy One, enlighten me with Thy precepts. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever, O despise not the works of Thy hands. To Thee belongeth worship, to Thee belongeth praise, to Thee belongeth glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat>
Let us complete our evening prayer, our morning prayer unto the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, all things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, a Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and a good defense before the fearful judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask of the Lord. This, o Lord. Calling to remembrance are all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To For thou art the God of mercies and of bounties and of love toward mankind, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be to all. And to the Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To thee, o Lord. For thine it is to show mercy and to save us, O our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. distributes wealth unto his servants. <clears throat> Let each of us according to his ability increase the gift of grace twofold. Let one be adorned with wisdom according to his good deeds. Another accomplishes service with splendor. Let one preach to the unenlightened in word and faith. Another distribute treasure unto the poor. For thus shall we increase the loan to as agents faithful of the grace and be worthy of the joy of the master wherefore o christ our god prepare us for this since thou alone art the lover of mankind we are filled in the morning with thy mercy when thou comest in glory with the angelic host, O Jesus, and sittest on the throne of judgment, separate me not from the ways of thy right hand, for thou knowest that the ways of the left are crooked. And destroy me not among the goats, a hardened sinner, but number me with the sheep on thy right hand, and save me 
for thou art the lover of mankind. And let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us. O bridegroom, brilliant in thy beauty, above all mankind, who didst call us to the spiritual banquet of thy chamber. Cast away from me the likeness of the rags of iniquity, by participation in thy passion. And adorn me with the robe of thy beauty, and distinguish me as a brilliant guest in thy kingdom, for thou only art compassionate. It is a good thing to confess unto the Lord, to sing praises to thy name, O Most High, to show forth thy mercy in the morning and thy truth by night. Holy God, holy mighty, holy, mighty, holy, holy mortal, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. O Master, pardon our iniquities. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O wretched soul, think of thy last hours. Be dismayed at the rebuking of the fig tree. Act and double the talent given to thee with a fatigue-loving purpose. Awake, watching and crying out, lest we remain outside the chamber of Christ. 
Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Thou who without stain bearest God the word, and art truly Theotokos, we magnify thee. Bless Father in the name of the Lord. Christ our God, the existing one, is blessed, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Heavenly King, strengthen our civil authorities, establish the faith, pacify the nations, give peace to the world, protect this city, place our departed fathers and brethren in the dwellings of the just, and of thy goodness and mercy receive us also who come to thee with penitence and thanksgiving. O Lord master and Master of my life, take, take from me the spirit of sloth, faint-heartedness, lust of power, and idle talk. But give rather the spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love to thy servants. Yes, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own sins, and not to judge my brother, for thou art blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our own glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, Lord have mercy, mercy, Lord have mercy, mercy Lord have mercy, Father. Bless. May he who is going to his voluntary passion for our salvation, Christ our true God, through the intercessions of his all immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life giving cross, by the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, at the supplication of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner, and Baptist John of the holy glorious and all laudable apostles, of the holy glorious and right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of Saint Barnabas, patron and protector of this holy community, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us, for as much as he is good and love is mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Behold, the bridegroom cometh at midnight, and blessed is the servant whom he shall find.